time. This is 1010 Wins. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world. Good morning, it's 48 degrees at 6 o'clock on this Tuesday, October 27th. I'm Dave Packer, and here's what's happening. A 15-year-old girl is dead. Several other children are hospitalized following a crash in St. Albans, Queens. New transit numbers show one out of four trains during the week are late. Half of the subways on the weekend. They all messed up, man. It messed up. I'm Steve Sandberg at the Times Square station. An explosion at a house in Queens. A man was trying to release propane from a cylinder. We believe the propane uh, blew back into the house. And when it hit a source of ignition, it exploded. A Long Island man took his Nazi flag down when his mother told him to. This is AccuWeather meteorologist. Every time someone rides. Winds News Time 601, time for traffic and transit on the ones. Here's Pete Toriello. We still have a closure in effect on 10-11 on 1010 Winds. Winds News Time 602, a 15-year-old girl is dead. Several other girls are hospitalized following a bad crash in St. Albans, Queens. According to investigators, the younger kids did not have car seats, and the driver, 45-year-old Sheila Betha, was going fast. A speeding station wagon plowed into a minivan on Dunkirk Street in St. Albans, Queens. The driver has been charged with reckless endangerment. Cops say he was not drunk. Transit officials have revealed a new method of reporting subway delays, which they claim will better reflect what's going on underground. 1010 Winds newsman Steve Sandberg tells us about it from the Times Square station. Michael from Brooklyn can't afford to be late. Sir, it sucks. <laughs> Steve Sandberg, 1010 Winds at the Times Square station. Nassau County cops have had no comment about a report of an off-duty officer firing shots at suspects in an attempted carjacking in Elmont early today. A possible suspect later walked into Long Island Jewish Medical Center with a gunshot wound. The off-duty cop was treated for an injury. In Elizabeth, New Jersey, cops say three teenagers carjacked a vehicle at gunpoint last night and later crashed into an oncoming car during a high-speed chase. One teenager was killed and two others were injured. The driver of the second vehicle was not seriously hurt. Winds News Time 609. Fourteen Americans were killed in helicopter crashes in Afghanistan yesterday in what was one of the deadliest days in the Afghanistan war for the U.S. military. Correspondent Jim Scudo reports some of the deaths followed a drug raid and firefight. At 4 a.m. as coalition forces were being... military denied it. President Obama remembered those killed in Afghanistan in a speech to Navy personnel in Jacksonville, Florida yesterday, and he vowed not to be rushed into a decision over whether to send more troops into the war. A Lindenhurst, Long Island man described as a World War II buff shocked his neighbors last Sunday by hanging a Nazi flag from the chimney of his house. Newsday says 52-year-old Richard Greggs left it there until a 75-year-old mother ordered him to take it down. At least one neighbor called police to complain. The Anti-Defamation League issued a statement condemning Greggs' actions. Checking 1010 winds AccuWeather, 48 degrees and raining going up to 60 degrees in Midtown. Winds News Time 619. Recently, I've NeighborWorks had a... and the Ad Council. More people wake up to 1010 winds than any other station in the nation. Jim Maloney is our editor. I'm Dave Packer. The News Watch never stops. This is 1010 Winds. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world.